Welcome to Noonday Prayer. We'll get started in just a few minutes. Hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Good to be back in the office uh, on this first Monday of the first week of Advent. We'll get started on page 103 in your Book of Common Prayer in just a few minutes. Give everybody a chance to log on. If you have your uh, Advent devotional book, that's what we'll be using for our readings. Uh, we have these at the church if you want to come get one. All right, I have that it is 12 noon on my clock, so we'll get started with our noonday prayers on page 103 in your Book of Common Prayer. If you don't have a Book of Common Prayer at home, you can go to BCP online and you can find the prayers there on your computer. Let us begin. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Let's say together Psalm 126 on page 105. Psalm 126. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses of the Negev. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. From our Advent devotional book, that we have available at the church. We're going to read the first devotional for Monday in the first week of Advent. I encourage you to read these at home. The scripture is from John 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Henry Nouwen says, Jesus is the Word, and his deeds are everlasting life. His Word is the bread that t takes our hunger away, the light that dispels our darkness, and the life that allows us to face death without fear. And uh, this is the little write-up after that. John begins his gospel by telling us that Jesus is the Logos of God, Logos being the divine creative order. This Greek term Logos means just more than word. It also means that Jesus reveals God to us. To see Jesus is to see the Father. Later in John, in chapters 6 and 8, Jesus reveals he is the bread of life, the water of life, the light of life. Bread, water, and light. These are our three basic elements that we all need to survive. We have to let the word dwell within us to really live, to be who God made us to be. This is more than just reading and reflecting on the scriptures. It also means maintaining a lively sense of presence of God dwelling within us. If Jesus becomes the word or the logos of our lives, we will be changed more and more into his likeness. And our prayer is, Jesus, reveal the Father to me in my life. Make me more and more into your likeness. Amen. I commend this little book to your readings. Continuing in the middle of page 106, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your disciples, Peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, now and forever. Amen. God, we commend to you those who are in our thoughts and prayers and hearts today. We know you are big enough and wanting enough to hold all of our joys and all of our fears and anxieties and sorrows. Today we especially pray for your church, for all lay leaders, deacons, priests, and bishops, for all who are sad, scared, in danger, or pain today, who are in prison, who are sick. We pray for those especially gathered together in this group to pray. I pray for Helen Ham, Helen McLennan, and for her family and all whom she loves. We pray for Sam Atkinson. He gives thanks for a great start to a blessed week. We pray for all those whom he loves, and Karen Montana, and all who are in her heart today. I pray for me and my family. We pray for your St. Mark's family, for this church. May it be a lively beacon of love for the world, and any others that you would name now. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining to say your prayers. I hope you have a great week and uh, looking forward to seeing you during this blessed Holy Advent season. Take care.